Hey guys, Savage Dan here, and um, I decided to use my Moab gameplay today because I saw something yesterday that really, really disgusted me. Um, I was watching Philip DeFranco, if you guys don't know who he is, um, he's a big YouTuber that he makes a video every day, of the week at least. And he talks about things in the news that, like, struck him as cool or bad. And yesterday, it seems to be happening a lot lately, but, um, he did this one where these cops killed a homeless guy, like, not on purpose, but, um, like, they arrested him, and five days later, he died from injuries when he was uh being arrested because um they said he was resisting and he was being combative but there's a video that shows otherwise and what they did to him is just completely it's it's beyond what should have been done um like he let's start out with the backstory of this guy his name is kelly thomas and he was a homeless man and he was he was mentally ill. He I think he was schizophrenic. So that means you have like two personalities or multiple personalities. And um, he was he was sick. He was mentally ill. And um, the cops you do what they usually do on like when you see someone that they say is resisting. The cop wasn't telling them to do the same thing over like twice. He switched it up and he got the guy got Kelly Thomas got confused. And he put it behind, put his hands behind his back. He's like, no, put them on your knees. And he stood up and said, which one is it? You got to tell me. And that's when the cop, like, freaked out and grabbed him and hit him with a, his flashlight in the leg. And um, from there, there was two cops there at the time. They got him on the ground. And um, the bigger guy, he must have been at least, like, 280, like, weight-wise. Uh like put his knee right in his back like right right in there and they were trying to get his his hands out to cuff him but his one hand was underneath of him how are you supposed to get that out if you have a 280 pound man on top of you and he's sitting there screaming i can't breathe i can't breathe i can't breathe and it's it just gets worse because more cops show up and more stuff keeps happening like duh, another cop shows up and the cop for some reason, thought it was a good idea to hit him in the face with his flashlight. Like, I don't understand what the cops are thinking. Um, but it, it's just, it's... It makes me want to fucking not trust the police with anything. At all. Because I feel like policemen, when they become a policeman, they they have all this false power to think they can do whatever they want. And that's not true. They have to follow the law just as much as we do. And thank God, two of the cops are being charged with, uh, the one is being charged with secondary murder and involuntary manslaughter, and the other one is being charged with involuntary manslaughter and, um, excessive use of force. Um, I think all of them should be charged, because that guy was on the ground with four cops on him already, and another cop showed up, and decided, let's tase him. That's not needed. You don't need to tase someone that has four cops already on him. That's just, that's way over the the amount of force you need to take down one person. Um, it was just I watched it. It was it was sickening to watch because it just kept going through my head that this guy died, and I'm pretty much watching someone slowly die. Um, but because what he died from was I forget what it's called, but it's where um, he was having such a hard time to breathe when he was underneath all those people that it complicated his heart that he eventually died from it. I, I think it was like five days later he uh, he died. Um, but like it's becoming big news now, so uh, the videos on YouTube, like some security camera called it with all the uh, all the audio too. And the worst part is the guy is screaming for his dad towards the end of it. Like, telling him, please dad, please mom, help me. And it's just, it's just sad that the cops would sit there and do that while he's, he obviously gave up. 
At that point, you're giving up. If you're screaming for your parents, you're giving up. And I guess the cops didn't see it that way. But that's why two of them are getting charged. I think all of them should get charged with something. All of them should get charged with involuntary manslaughter. They were all involved. And uh, they should make a statement out of these cops saying, don't do this or you will have repercussions. But it's not going to happen. Um, those two will probably get actually um, convicted, hopefully. Um, depends on the jury. I think the jury would if they see the video because obviously the, the, the guy gave up. And they were still beating the crap out of them and holding them down with the force of six men on top of them. So, um, they, they should get convicted pretty easily uh, if the jury has any heart at all. But, if there's even a jury, I don't even know. Uh, they might just not do a jury. But, um, I hope they get convicted and, like, other cops see that um, there is possible repercussions for stuff if you do that because um it's not the first time this has happened um it's happened a bunch so this it's really getting old that we that that happens especially because they're trying to pass it to where you can't videotape police because they don't want to be able to be be caught for that stuff and it's just it's stupid if you do that and you get caught that's your own fault you can't be pissed that someone recorded it because it's fucked up Okay, so they're trying to cover their own tracks by saying you can't record the police, but, um, yeah. Uh, but don't watch that video. Don't even look for it, but it's, it's really messed up. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I hope these guys get convicted because it's just disgusting. But I will see you guys tomorrow with some Battlefield, and I uh, hope you guys have the uh, rest of the day very nicely.